So like, I normally don't do any appearance stuff on my car, but I I like this. It darkens the front end. Yeah, yeah. It, it darkens the front end nicely. So guys, I have something special to announce today. Uh, our Teespring store, so we are doing that, the charity apparel, which has a really cool saying. My wife came up with it. It basically helps underprivileged children and brings attention to that. That's the whole goal. And we have raised a total, dun, 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 $411.02, which I am doubling that. That brings us up to dun, 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 $822. Plus we got a $500 donation and another $300 donation plus another $400 donation bringing our total to $2,022.04. That's what I'm going to donate today to the, uh, uh, the Coatesville Youth Initiative that benefits local to me, underprivileged children. And uh, then the special announcement, everything on our Teespring store for the rest of the year, every single cent of profit will be donated to the Coatesville Youth Initiative. And I will still double that. So everything, our official CSP shirts, like whatever we put on there to the to the end of the year, we will donate all of the profit. And I will show you all of the profit at the end of the year. We'll obviously donate it next year because we've got to wait for this year to be over. But that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, it's for good cause. So hop on our Teespring store. The link is in the description below. It is really important to me it's important to these kids especially with what has happened with uh the pandemic they, some people don't have places to go some need like study material equipment stuff like that and this helps them all to succeed and that's what we want we want to give everybody a fair shot to succeed that's what matters like uh, giving it that fair shot because racing only counts when we start together okay guys uh on with the video definitely check it out though thank you Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we have something that is long overdue on my car, and that's uh, some extra protection. Not a car condom, nope, nope. We're talking about something to protect the, uh, the AC condenser that's behind here. You can see this. If you take a closer look here, you can see that mine's kind of, my C8 is all like pitted up. And uh, that's because this is huge. You get all the rocks and bugs and stuff and it actually bangs up the fins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect it with grill guards from the Radiator Grill store. And special thanks to them, they sent this to me for free and I've been a total loser and didn't put it on in a timely manner because we were doing other things. And of course, look at the damage that has happened since then. Like driving it around in Kentucky and back from Kentucky and to Kentucky and all that stuff. It's just like, damn. I could have protected this and I, I didn't. So I think that this is, this is one of those things that you probably should consider uh, along with like what we did with the, the paint protection film up front. Great. So let's get those things unboxed and uh, get the car protected and maybe hide some of the damage. Let's see what we got. Okay. So special thanks to the Radiator Grill store. Look at that, that's kind of cool. It's 3D printed. I don't know. I got so these just like go in behind certain things. Oh, this is probably the front, right? No. <laughs> that's the side? What's that's, this thing? I don't know. What is that? That this is, is the front. front inner part. The front inner part? Looks like tech Which There's nothing really behind it unless you get a rock that comes in with like a 60 degree angle. Oh, that. okay. That's another one. Wait, what? Folks, wait. wait. That, that must be the, the rear. Wait, this is the main rad? Yep, this is See, the side. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> it'll be doubled up for the other side. Well, then what's in the other box? Oh, what's in the box? No, it's not okay. Maybe they suck. See? It's different. It's different. I mean, I ordered mine before these came in. Huh? Yeah, it's the same stuff. Okay. So we have a set in stock to install on your C8 if you ever want to come by. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're happy to help. Okay, so let's get this on the car. And by let's get it, I mean Mike, get it on the car. Okay. So I just wanted to say about Radiator Grill Store, 
that they are an American company, in fact the products made just west of Chicago, uh, employing three people and growing. They make this stuff out of a lot of different things, ABS, uh, aluminum, painted, they're all sorts of stuff. They have a big line. They started with their own porches, which is, must be nice, right? <laughs> and uh, grew into other places. And customer service has constantly been a big focus on their product. You can call, get install tips, questions, all that fun stuff, and they stand behind the product 100%, which is awesome. So if there's any dissatisfaction, they'll take care of you. So highly recommend them, and it, especially going through what I've gone through or am about to go through, depending when this gets plugged into the video, uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend the product. American made, baby. Just like our cars, ish, ish. Because it's American made, but like some parts come elsewhere. So it's like the most random shit that the GM had. T-15s and seven mils. Who the hell uses T-15s and who the hell uses seven mils? GM, that's who. I can like, deal with the seven mils. The T-15s, they gotta go. <laughs> like, you, they told me, one of the guys that works on the assembly line, the engineers were like, yeah, we don't really want to use this, but it, aesthetically it's pleasing. It's like, what? <laughs> can't even see this! Under the car, I don't care. Maybe in the fender well. What did you do? <laughs> it's like the dude from Sonic. What's his name? Uh, uh, Robotnik. Robotnik, yeah. They should call that the Robotnik splitter. <laughs> That's a lot of syllables. Forget it. <laughs> so, if you're doing just the side ones, you can probably fish it up right through here. Bye. We're going to do the center section too, so we're going to take this other piece down as well. Why? Is it funny how simple these things are? <laughs> this, this is your eyesight one. So far, so good. This has been like what eight minutes? Yeah. That's for the back. These are different. Mine had little nubbies on them and it made it a bitch to install them. They must have got a different material. Yeah. Still gotta kinda get in here so you don't smash it into the rag. Yeah. yeah try, try to be careful because when you're installing these, you don't want to bang up your condenser that's not banged up. Oh, mine, I have gone too far with it, so. So is that the one that we should install first or should we put the other one in first? Sure. I didn't put the other one in. <laughs> Guess we'll find out, huh? Yeah, that looks a lot better, honestly. Yeah. So, like, I normally don't do any appearance stuff on my car, but I I like this. It darkens the front end. Yeah, yeah. It, it darkens the front end nicely. I tried to, like, make the lines level. Which, I mean, you pretty much are. And then how do you, do you attach it to the front? It's just zip ties. That's the only kind of... To the front right there? Yeah. So you put I guess you like do it like in the corner. Yeah, you do it in the yeah, corner. Get, get the nub on the back side. No, front side. F*** you. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want a job for Christmas or no? You're not open for Christmas. Yeah, but do you want to get paid on Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I try to put the zip ties here because you're not going to see that from the yeah. top. Yeah, it's just have white zip ties. Yeah. <laughs> so, recommend it. Put it like here so like when you're looking at it from the top side, you don't see it. I mean, honestly, you could do it on the top ones, too, because you won't see those either. But, and maybe it's squeeze one at the bottom. I did, like, four or five per side, because it's... You and you are going to go 200 mile an hour. Am I? Maybe. It's better. It's a turbo zone. What's factory time speed, you know? Um, on the Z51, it's, like, 186. On the non-Z51, it's 196. Because the, the, the arrow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The more you know. Yeah. So, much easier to do on a lift, but I think it is possible to do on the ground. It's, yeah, I, th I think that we would just charge an hour for install. Like, that's our minimum rate. Like, most shops, they have a minimum that you bring a car in for. Mm -hmm. and 
This would be an hour install, I think. I mean, if you're up close, there's a tie, meh, but you're not gonna see them. I think like from a picture standpoint, like if you know you do nice pictures of a car, you're not gonna see anything. I can't even see it from here. <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> Zip ties. Oh, yeah. Hey, I mean, that's probably as good as a knee. Yeah, it's gonna flow air through it. So, like now you can't even see the damage. Turn your fan on. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, maybe one there. But... Uh, so behind the grill. <laughs> oh man, this is a little harder now. Yeah. Yeah, we def definitely put the center ones in first, guys. Now I have to... Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, the edges are sharp. Oh. Legit. Oh man, I like the look of that. Gonna, let's put a big wing on my. Oh, we already have one. Never mind. They make bigger wings. Do they? Dolphin board has the, the big wing. Yeah. I, I want to put an ironing board on. <laughs> it's just fun. like a legit ironing board. That way it's the, adjustable. Are you getting the winglets from uh, where the other company is? What is it? Shh. Oh, fuck. There's more stuff. So, zip tie that stuff back on the way that you, uh, we just did on here. So, best way is put the zip tie on, cut it up front, and then rotate it so that little nubby's on the back. That way you barely see it. So, we are just doing the front grill install today because the rears are honestly pretty tough and I did not do very good. So, I don't want to do uh, any injustice to uh, the radiator grill store because of my incompetence. <laughs> uh, I, I just couldn't get them in very well. So we're doing just the fronts today and it's pretty easy. And ideally that's the one that you really want because it's the one that you're mostly gonna see and it's going to offer the most protection. The, uh, the rears on the other hand are a little tougher. And if you'd like to see that video, that will be one of the next videos or one of the one of the future videos on installing them because it was obscene but it's mostly because i'm retarded and mike is too retarded to even attempt it i don't want to attempt the rear that's why i don't want to see right just it, just it, because it, that that and one other reason <laughs> his wife won't let him so we've installed the front and it looks beautiful. You guys can see that the front just like, it has that, that darker look to it. So especially if you have like a lighter color, it's really, really awesome to have that contrast. Instead of seeing the condenser, now you're seeing a lot of darkness there, which it's menacing looking and it also offers protection. And uh, Eric's had it on his twin turbo C8 for a while with no downside to the cooling system or the AC system, it's even with the inner chiller. So you, you will be very happy with what it offers. Um, so thank you again for watching. Uh, if you want to see that uh, the rear install, it is a doozy. Uh, sorry, Radiator Grill Store, because it, uh, it's rough. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and comment below. Okay guys, adios. Okay, so hands are all cut up from that. Let's see what happens with hand sanitizer because we're in COVID land. Okay, I'm scared. Oh, f Oh my God! What the f Oh, son of a bitch! I'm not even faking this. This really f hurts. Oh, it's all turned red.